Hey everyone, this is a short video to go over um, an example of how to do mycorrhizal um, association count on a root sample. So I'm going to be doing this on my computer, um, and this is actually one of the example photos that was sent to you in your packets. Um, and I have uh, many other samples that are going to be available on Canvas. Um, if you do choose for this to be your module, we'll be using them in the module. Uh, but yeah, this is just an example to kind of go over this um, so you can watch this and just get a feel for how the method is going to go so that you can do your pre-assignment, which is to go through those four photos and do um, the mycorrhizal association counts. Okay, so let me start by sharing my screen. <clears throat> okay, here we go. So um, I am using Illustrator right now just because that's the program that I did the grid overlays. Um, if you're wanting to use your computer so that you can zoom in, that's also an option. Um, the photos are PDF, so they'll, you know, open up in any PDF editor. Um, but what I've done is, well, let me zoom out real quick. Um, I, so I have this grid, um, I have broken it up into four quadrants, so split um, by these two lines here. And I, I have the grids here just to kind of make it a little easier to, you know, um, tackle the, the roots because just looking at this photo, like there's a lot, but if you just go like little grid by little grid, like it's much more manageable. Um, so the first thing you want to do is identify what you think is a mycorrhizal association and what is not. And from here on out, I'm going to call those mycorrhizal associations nubbins because that's just what they look like. Um, so we want to find nubbins and not nubbins. <laughs> so I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to do this lower right quadrant with you guys. Um, so just starting out kind of looking over the photo, looking at something that might be obviously like a mycorrhizal association. And so what I see um, right here, I wonder, I hope you guys can see what I'm pointing to. So where I've kind of highlighted that line right there, right below it, um, I definitely think like, yes, like that is a nubbin. It's kind of thick. It looks like it's kind of shortened. So, so one of the things that these, these morphologies um, have in common is that they're usually fairly short. So for example, like this other long strand right here, that to me just looks like a strand of root. It's a little bit thinner. Um, and then maybe like right on the edge right there, there might be like a little nubbin poking off. But again, it's pretty short. Um, so that to me looks like a nubbin. Another example I can find um, is right here, like on this line, like that definitely looks like a nubbin to me. Um, sometimes there's, you know, just like a blob of root and it's hard to tell and that's okay. We're just going to do our best. The great thing about the program is that we have a lot of people who are going to be looking at these photos. And so we're going to get multiple opinions and kind of, you know, we're going to even out the, um, you know, bias that we might have towards what nubbins look like. Um, throughout this process, feel free to like Google images of ectomycorrhizae um, and you can hopefully see some more images that will help you and I can even post some. I should do that actually. That's a good idea. Uh, great. Okay. So the, the next thing I want to mention is that you want to kind of set a timer or at least like keep yourself accountable. Like please don't spend half an hour on one photo. Like I don't want you to spend like too, too much time on this. So for this one quadrant, I'm gonna set myself a timer for two minutes and we'll see if I can do it. Oh, actually I need to just change the settings on my phone. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna pick a, a quadrant to start. So I'm gonna start with this upper left quadrant. There's nothing there, which is nice. So I'm going to keep track of two things and I want to write these down as I go. I should be prepared. Um, I'm going to keep track of the number of roots that I see and also the number of mycorrhizal associations. So just to be clear, like the mycorrhizal association is covering roots. So I'm going to count anything I see as a root, but then I'm also going to count mycorrhizal associations that I can see that are nubbins. Okay, ready, set, go. 
So I'm seeing in this quadrant, the second one from the top, I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven roots. There's a lot of crisscross, so I might think like, ah, oh, maybe that's like one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do five for that one. Um, and then nubbins, I see like one, two, three, maybe four. I think I see another little one down there. So I'm going to write like three to four. Another great tip um, that Erica actually pointed out is that like you can, we're going to bend these. So it's okay to be like, I think there are like two to four or five to seven here. So we're, we're going to get, you know, like an estimate. So it's okay to be like, I'm not totally sure, but I think it's around this many. So like very few, medium or so, and then a lot. And as you go through the photos, you'll really start to get the hang of it. Okay, so the next one, I see that there are like one, two, three, four roots. And I see like one nubbin right there. So I'm gonna write four and one. The next one, okay, another great point. Um, don't count the main root stem here. That's kind of confusing. Don't count the like super thick, like main like artery roots. Um, we only want to look at the fine roots because those are the root structures that mycorrhizae are going to attach to, not these bigger ones. So for this root example, just ignore this big main root and only look at the fine roots coming off. Yikes, I'm approaching my two minutes. I didn't do it, but that's okay. <laughs> Don't beat yourself up. Um, so here I'm going to count one, two, three roots. And I actually think that this is a mycorrhizae. And then that little guy poking off is a mycorrhizae. So I'm going to write three, two. Um, and then this next one, I see two roots. I don't really see any mycorrhizae. You might disagree with me. Oh, actually, look, one, two, three roots. And I think that that's a mycorrhizae. So I'm going to write three and two. Um, I'm going to stop there so you don't have to like listen to me for too long, um, but basically like that's the gist of it. So you go through each cell that has some mycorrhizae and some roots, then you count the number of roots that you see and that includes everything and then you count the number of nubbins and those are just like the slightly thicker structures that are somewhat shortened and oftentimes they also have a different color. Um, let me actually just zoom out real quick and see if I can find a photo. Yeah, okay. So here we've got some slightly different colors going on. So do you see, I hope you can see my arrow, there's a root structure here and then there's an obvious like like darker appendage right there. Um, like that is definitely a mycorrhizal tip. Same with this one. It's like root, root, root at mycorrhizae. And on the same root, you might have different species of mycorrhizae that could very well have different colors, different morphologies. So if you see different puffier, you know, nubbity looking things that weren't the same color as the ones you were just looking at, like that's okay because you've probably just identified two different species, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think those other two are also fairly similar. Oh, I want to zoom in on this. Look at that little just like row of nubbins right there, like boom, boom, boom. That'd be fun to count. Cool. Well, thank you for listening. Um, and I will also be posting or have already posted the uh, instruction sheet that will go along with this. That'll basically give like all the things I talked about in maybe a little more like cohesive format so that you can understand me. Um, all right. Thanks everyone. And um, I will see you in the module.